today will be my first day back to work after my time away from the center. I just needed a chance to focus on what's important in life and helping others to see there's more waiting for them in this life. Yeah, that's my gift back to the earth and the energy that God has given to me. It is time to heal myself. I deserve it. Dear God, allow me the strength to help these men. These men that are lost and alone. Help me help them find their way. I come before you so humble and thankful and a blessed man who accepts your love for him and for all. I will keep extending my faith to others, Lord. In your name I pray, amen. How you doing? I'm David Jones. I'm the counselor here. How can I help you? Joseph Clark. Mm -hmm. Good morning. I'm new here for the group session. I'm not really sure how any of this works. It's my first time. Okay, don't worry about that. You can have a seat anywhere you like. And also, it's going to be everybody else's first time too, Mr. Joseph. So, just relax. It'll be okay, all right? I got you, brother. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Soon as everyone get here, we'll get started, by the way, all right? Hey, good morning. Good morning. How you doing? I'm all right. I'm Jack Carter. Jack Carter. How you doing, Mr. Jack Carter? Sam Turner. Mr. Sam Turner. Mr. Hey, Adams. How you feeling, brother? Paul Hill, man. Paul Hill. Uh, like that last name, brother. Right. What's your name, sir? Larry Nelson. Larry Nelson. How you doing, Mr. Nelson? Doing fine. All right. Good morning, fellas. And welcome to the Correctional Reentry Program. I'll be your counselor, Mr. David Jones. Um, we're going to start off by introducing each other to one another in this group. We're going to start off with you, sir. Hi, everybody. My name is Larry Nelson, and I, I just got out of prison after 20 years. Trying to be a good man and make up for what I did. I go to AA a lot. Morning, noon and night. I used to drink. Thank you for sharing that. Okay. We'll go with um, you, sir. Hey, this ain't really my thing, you know, speak. But um, I'm Paul Hill. I did 15 years in prison. And now I'm here. And hopefully I can save the rest of my life, you know. I done had some hard times dealing with some of my issues. And I'm here to get better, if it's possible. To get better and get our life back in order. Now, it will take some time. Trust me, it's a process. I'll go now. I'm Jack Carter. I did 10 years in prison. But I'm not like you all. I upheld the law, I didn't break it. So don't go thinking we're all alike here. 
I was just doing my job, but the courts say defending myself isn't what I should have done that night. I should have waited instead. Well, I had to use my better judgment to save my life. I had kids to go home to. Putting my life on the line wasn't the right thing to do. So you're just a man with no past? No, it sounds like a pig to me. But I'm better than some criminal. And you just, what, stumbled into this meeting? Well, me too. I, um, I took the life of a man who, who thought it was okay to use my sister's face as a punching bag. And I did 10 years for my own justice. And she still won't talk to me. Her own brother. All right? Now when we talking, let's show each other a little bit of respect. I think we all deserve that. We are months men here, right? Look, we need to learn something. When you getting your life back in order, it's gonna be a lot of things coming at you, fellas. I've been there. Not only if I'm a counselor, I've been in this chair amongst where y'all sit at right now. And I'm telling you, it's something real hard to do, getting your life back on track, once you hit out there in them streets. My name is Samuel Turner. It's not easy for me as an old man, sitting here in front of you all. But I couldn't just sit here without speaking my piece. As a younger man, I killed a man because my wife didn't love me anymore. I made a mistake. It changed my life forever. And I'm here hoping that this man can help me put the broken pieces back together. So, show some respect. Huh? Oh. So, um, Mr. Turner, I want to thank you for your story and sharing that with us. I'm Edward Adams, and I would like to share with you all my pain of growing up alone and being passed around for foster care. See, I never had many friends or family. It was just so hard because no one understood me. I never touched the weight he said I did. Man, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not gonna listen to this guy gripe about being wrongly accused. Hell, I mean, we all done done something we ain't proud of, right? Ain't that why we here? Look, I'm innocent. If he can say so, so can I, and I'm going to, so deal with it. Deal with it. That's what we got. A cliche. I killed a man. I killed his wife and the two babies. I was, I was drunk. I was driving. And <laughs> I can't sleep at night. They're in my head. They won't leave. Stop complaining, everyone. Look, we all had our time to speak our peace. So save it. Would you cry, yo? Hey, man, look, this is just too much, man. You got grown men here crying. Look, when it's your turn to talk, you can share your thoughts. I'm, I'm truly am sorry. This is exactly why I have a problem making friends. It always seem like the problem. Hey, look, look. You don't have to be sorry. Okay, we're on here to to get better. All right, so just just keep your head up. He's Let's get right. better as men. He's right. All right, I'm in. 
I don't want to lose my son. I gotta get my life back together. Amen. Don't look at me. I'm talking about you, Craig. Come on, man. This dude right here. I, I got it. Mr. Carter, may I have a word with you, please, outside? Excuse me, please. Mr. Carter, you're not helping yourself. These little tactics and, and disrespectful that you're doing to the group, it's not helping you at all. You hear him calling me a pig? Yeah, I heard him. But he got his own issues to deal with, too. I will pull him along to the side and have a talk with him, too, later on. But for now, you're interrupting the group, and it's not helping neither one of us. So as a man, I feel as though you should go back and apologize for the, to the group. Because you did it more than once. Okay? Okay, Mr. Carter? Yeah, sure. All right. Thank you. Sorry about that, John. Um, Mr. Carter got something that he want to share with the group when he comes back in, so uh, let's give him your ear. Mr. Carter? I'm sorry. Now, group, just want to share something with y'all real quick. We can learn a lot from each other if we're willing to give up the time and respect to listen to one another. So far from I see from the group, I see a lot of different personalities, strong ones, but I also see good qualities and leadership. You men is on your way of making a change for your life. Just sit back and think about what you did that got you here. And give your second a, yourself a second or a moment to see where you want to go from here. When we come beyond these doors right here, it's all about helping us, this group. And it's an honor for me to sit here and help y'all. I know we all have problems, okay? And we're gonna get to that. So by me saying that, this is what I came up with. We're gonna have a confession booth. What's this church, man? Hey, listen, it's no expectations. This is what it is, bottom line. You will come in and you will share something with me one on one. That something that you can't share with everybody else. I need y'all to trust me as well. I need to trust y'all. But it comes a time when you want to help. You have to speak it out. You have to have someone to talk to. It's, it's like an outlet, picture that way. When we have an our one-on-one, -on -one, it's gonna be more like a buddy. It's not like a church confession. It's gonna be one-on-one, -on -one, like we just having a man-to-man -man talk. Now, and I'm sure you've been in prison for a while, and I'm sure you had a bunk buddy where you had one-on-one -on -one talks. Mr. Carter, we just had a talk about this. So look, I want y'all guys to get it together. I want y'all to come back in tomorrow at nine o'clock sharp, ready to rock and roll. So if y'all agree, I would like to end this session in a little prayer. Um, Mr. Turner, would you mind leading us into a prayer? <clears throat> Father God, we come here today our spirits have been broken. Please help us to be whole. Please lay a guiding hand on our counselor. Encircle us in your love. 
and let us part from this place in peace and harmony, only to be returned again with clear head and an open heart. Amen. Amen. Well, fellas, that's it for the day. We're looking forward to seeing y'all tomorrow. And remember, a new day is a new start. Thank you all for coming out. my wife. Hi, uh, son. It's your dad. I just wanted to give you a call to let you know that I was thinking about you. Hey, give me a call back when you get half a chance. We, re we really need to talk. Look, I, I know you don't care too much for me right now, but... I love you, son. Hello? Hello? Hey, sis, this is you. I, I just want to say I'm sorry. Uh, I love you. Uh, okay, I just, I, I hope we can see each other soon. And, um, I, I'm, I'm getting help. Yeah, so, <laughs> everything, everything is going to be cool once I see you again. All right? Bye.
going back. Just miss my sister. I had to do it, but baby. Daddy couldn't let them get away with that. Couldn't let her get away with that. Why would she do something like that? To manipulate a child? To, to make her think it was a game? That y'all just playing a little game? You don't know no better. You just a little girl. Touching you. Kissing you. I did 15 years, but I know why. She was sick. And nobody like that deserved to live. And I would do it again. I would. Because you was my seed. Mine. And as long as you my seed and I'm your father, anybody that touch you, they had to answer to me. So what? 15 years, so what? I tell you what, I'll do it again. 
because I'm going to protect my got only one. This is all I had left. And then someone just took her away from me. Only thing I had left. If I only just knew who killed her. How could he think I would do something like this? 10 years of my life lost over something I didn't even do. And now this is all I have left. This is all. Just this. I just can't believe you're gone. Yes. Yes, I will have them papers over to you in a few. Thank you. And have a good day. Excuse me. Hey, young brother. Can you tell me what type of place this is? You okay? I mean, you come in and talk if you want. I'm trying to see if my father comes to your group or not. Your dad? Sam Turner? Oh, yeah, Sam Turner. Yeah, he does. You know what? Matter of fact, he should be here shortly. Um, you want to come in? We about to have a session. It's cool if you want to. Nah, I just want to check up on him. Make sure he's doing all right. Yeah, hey, look, young brother. He's doing as fine as he can be, man. You know, he still got a long way to go. But um, if you want to help, Let's start off by having a conversation with you. I appreciate that. Look, I got somewhere to be. You have a good one. You too, brother. Thank you for the info. All Appreciate right. Sam Turner, Sam. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Where's Mr. Jack? Anybody yes. seen him? Mm. Well, the show must go on. Here you go. Take one and just pass it around the room, please. Now, I know y'all wondering, what is this paper for? But I will explain once you all share one thing that y'all are feeling to do. Mr. Turner, we'll start with you. I feel lost and hurt. I called my son, but he didn't answer. It hurts knowing that he's out there without me to be his father. I just want to see him. It hurts to know that he's out there 
without me to be his father. That's all. Well, how I feel today, I felt a whole lot of pain, sadness, you know. I thought about my baby girl, how she didn't really ever get to know me before I went upstate. Now she all grown. Grown up, grown woman, you know. It's like, I'm just trying to figure out what to say to her. You know? Anyway, that's how I feel. Honestly, I don't really know how I feel. You know, but it doesn't feel good. You know, I am. I'm just lost in life. All because I was thinking with my heart instead of my brain. You know, I never thought, you know, maybe, you know, he was going through something. I just thought about myself. Well, for what it's worth, what's my favorite place? Come to find my life never really happened like that. It was just a person who walked along and borrowed that along. I ain't got much to say. I just need more time. I don't feel like I should be alive. I should have died that day. Me. But God spared me. And every day, I ask him why. Why me? Until I found this group, I don't feel like I don't feel like I should be alive. Thank you, God. Wow. You guys have really impressed me. This is only our second meeting. You guys are showing that there's light at the end of this road. Just keep driving, man. We'll get there. These three words? These three words mean something, something strong. Love, forgiveness, and faith. These three words are what you need to get your life back in order, to start living again. Any questions? I mean, how's that supposed to help? It's just words. I mean, right. How they gonna help us? They just words. We all done used them at what one point in time in our lives. And look at us, we still right here in this place. So how they gonna help us? Truly impossible to think about faith when so much has gone wrong in our lives. Exactly. But I'll trust you. Love. I don't feel that anymore. My, my daughter, my daughter told me she, she don't know if she'd ever love me again. We will get there, fellas. And we will get there together. With the possibility of these three words right here. Love, Forgiveness and faith. Let's, let's stand. Put your papers in your chair. Hold hands, gentlemen. Now, 
want you to take in a deep breath. And I want you to visualize peace. We all have families that care for us and relationships that we need to fix. And I know it's not gonna be easy, but if we take it one step at a time and stick together, I think it's possible. I'm just so tired of feeling hurt and feeling like I don't have control of my life. And I just want it back. Amen. 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 Uh, to echo on Mr. Clark words, it's possible. It's possible, guys, that we can get there. And I'm starting to see a change in all of you. So, next week, make sure you're on time and we'll continue to get greater. I want to thank you guys for sharing with me today. That's a big step. So, go home. Get some rest, and I'll see you guys next week. Oh, if anybody's seen Jack, let him know that uh, anytime he miss, we, the show will go on without him. Hmm. All right? See y'all, gentlemen. I'm Paul Hill, and I ain't been feeling too happy these days. I feel like I let my family down, as well as myself. You know, where I'm from, we was always taught that being the tough guy was the answer, at all costs. So, when she violated when she violated my, when she violated her sweet little innocent body, I couldn't stop the rage inside me. I had to do it. She had to pay. And now that I'm out of jail, done my bid, I'm still paying for it. I just want my family to love me again. Look. 15 years ago. I murdered, I killed my babysitter. Good morning. How are you, son? I'm good. Just trying to understand why I'm here. I don't understand. What do you mean? You were in jail for murder. And I don't have any good memories of you. In fact, I don't even know who you are. I'm your dad. The man who loves you. And I want to build a relationship with you. If you're open to it. Listen to me. I have a family of my own now. Who I wouldn't leave for anything in this world. It hurt me and mom to try to survive without you, dad. Don't you understand that? I know. And I'm sorry, son. 
But I let my feelings about your mom cloud my judgment and I made a mistake. But if she hadn't been cheating on me, none of this would have ever happened and I would have been there for you. And there it is. You blame somebody else's problems upon yours. I'm not gonna sit here and listen to this. I'm gone. Son, I'm sorry. Dad? What, what are you doing here? I just got out. I figured I'd come by and see how he's doing. Is that okay? It's fine, but I have a lot to do. So can you make this fast? I don't mean to get in your way. So I was gone for so long, you little girl. I never, never got to see things you did growing up. That's what drinking does to you. It takes away time from your life. You always made sure my brother was first, and then me. I, I never wanted you to feel enough. Well, you did, and I'm so over it. Just leave and never come back until you can own up to your mistakes. My oh, oh, little girl. Why are you here? Why are you here? Do you know me? Well, I guess you killers can't remember what you did, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. You must be Sandra Brooks there. Yeah. Look, man, look. I'm sorry. Didn't mean anything about this. Just came past to get my prayer. You got to be kidding me. That's my daughter's blood on that concrete. And your prayers aren't bringing her back. All right, look, man. First of all, watch your tone, okay? Watch my tone. Watch your tone, okay? I understand that. I understand that. I really do. I have to live with what I've done. Not you. Okay, I lost everything. I was sent up. For what I've done for 15 years, I lost everything, okay? My wife died while I was in prison, man. Prison. Okay? My, my baby, I didn't get to know her. She was so young and innocent. She don't even know who I am. Do you think losing a child isn't tough? It's not like losing your keys. My daughter is gone. You come around here like nothing's happened. It's not like that, Mr. Brooks. Again, I'm trying to be understanding, but what you don't understand is that your daughter molested my baby. Now, how do you think that feels? Okay, she was just a baby, Mr. Brooks. She couldn't defend herself. So I'm sorry for your daughter, but however, I had to defend my daughter for myself because she couldn't. I had to do it. I'm sorry about what happened to your little girl. But if you had any kind of heart, you could have came to me. I could have got my daughter the help she needed. And she could have been punished the right way. Not you killing her. Look, man, I was feeling a whole lot of pain. Whole lot of pain. 
couldn't stop myself, man. It's like I wasn't even there. I blanked out. And I had to fight with that every day. Over and over again. 15 years. Do you understand how that feels? Hey, why don't you get off my property? Before I can't stop myself. Mr. Brooks is like that? It's just like that. I see you. Okay. You know what? You have a nice day. You have a better one. Mr. Edwards. Mr. Edwards. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. Mr. Edwards, I want you to talk more in our sessions. I think it'll help with your nightmares. I can't. It's like I'm so scared the words just just won't come out. I guess I'm just so concerned about my about finding my living family. You need to find your pressure points and learn how to manage it. And speak from your heart. It's not good to hold all that inside. And it's great that you're looking for your family. That will help you along on this journey. Can I ask you a personal question? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Fire away. Will I ever be normal again? Will I have friends? <laughs> sure you will. Once you get over your fears, everything will be okay. And by the way, you have friends in the group. We are your friends. Friends, it's great. Got friends now. All you gotta do is just communicate with the guys. I'm sure you'll do a great job at that. Look at you, Mr. Edwards. You're smiling. You haven't smiled since you came in my front door. Thank you. stay gone. Everything was fine. I wouldn't have to think about it anymore. Look, I know it's hard. But it's hard for me too. I'm trying to come here and figure out a way to say I'm sorry. Sorry? Sorry won't fix it, Joseph. My baby is dead. He was all the family that I had. He was mine. No one tried to save me. I didn't have nobody to turn to. I understand that I wasn't there for you like I should have been. But I tried. Look, there's so much going on in my life with us losing mom, and I didn't know what I had to do to become a man. And I had no one to show me out. But I needed you. So I used to cry myself to sleep every night when I was younger because you weren't around. And take the one good thing from me, it can't be fixed. Please don't leave me, sis. I, just, I really can't be alone.
What's up, man? How are you? Good, brother. How are you? I'm great. Good. I'm so glad you're home. <laughs> yeah. How you doing? I'm all right, man. I'm getting by. What took you so long to call me? Man, I've got this program I have to do or I'll mess up my early release. So I've been spending a lot of time thinking, trying to figure out what's next for me. So what are you doing for money? I mean, what, you got a job lined up or anything? <laughs> no, man. You know, I'm right out of the joint after 10 years for manslaughter. Ain't nobody hiring me for anything. Disgraced cop. Listen, you take this. You got you gotta you got take it. You gotta take it. Don't refuse me, please. Jimmy, man. You didn't have to do this. I know. I I put myself in this situation, man. You didn't do anything. I've got to fix my life. Whatever you need, don't you hesitate to call me. I got your back. I know you do, man. I'm so sorry what happened, Jack. Oh, look, man, let's not even talk about that, okay? It's done. I did the time they asked me for and it's over, all right? Let's just leave it. Hey, listen, I'm going to get on out of here. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Hey, look, don't forget, dinner next weekend. All right? And hey, don't stay me up. I, I won't. I promise, man. And thanks again for the money. Anytime. Anytime. Thanks, Jimmy. should just end it all. I'm alone now. So there's no reason to live. No reason to be happy. And I, I, I can't bring him back. But I can make up for it. Tita, I should have gave you the love that you needed it, and I'm sorry. 
I hope you can forgive me. Your brave brother loves you. Bye. I gave all that I had to make sure she was happy, but I couldn't protect her from whoever took her away from me. I keep having these dreams of her holding me, saying she loved me, she needed me. I just want her back so I can feel whole again. She was the only one who understood me. Now she's gone. I lost my life because of this. I just want her back. I met with Adams. And I did 10 years for a murder I did not commit. Hey, Sam, how are things going with that boy of yours? I don't know. <clears throat> One minute, we're talking, and the next, I don't know. I just want him to understand my side. Yeah, hear that? My little girl won't even give me the time of day. I'm trying real hard to get her to forgive me. Mm. Yeah, well. We both have two hurt, disillusioned young adults on our hands that need a father's love. And we can't, we can't give up. We got to keep on fighting. You ever feel like just tossing it all in, walk away from everything? Of course I do. And I start to feeling sad about not being around because I was younger and stupid. Yeah. Well, you know, my little girl, she won't even smile at me anymore. And I I quit drinking. I'm 20 years in the Hooskow. I'm clean and sober and I'm still in. Congratulations. That's great. My son, he hates me because I left the family. But he doesn't know everything. Only what his mother told him. Yeah, you wait. He has a kid of his own, he'll come around. You can't live life like that without any help. Just can't do it. All I can do is pray for the both of us. That's the only thing that's keeping me alive. Things gonna change. Me and you wear hair. We're willing to lend a hand. We want to help. We just need to keep pushing on. Amen to that, brother. Get you later. You okay, babe? You seem a little out of it. I got a lot of things on my mind. I just saw Dad. So what happened? Are you two going to work things out? I'm not sure if we can. He's still not taking full responsibility of his actions. He acts like I left our family. Are you giving him a chance? I mean, at least listen to him to get his side of the story. Why should I? I was the one hurt without my dad. And I seen how hurt my mom was. And on top of that, he wasn't thinking about none of the mistakes that he made and ends up in jail? Are you serious? Well, just lease him out. Just to see what really happened between them two. Hey, listen to me. I tried to hear him out. But I just can't take him blaming others and not himself. I know, but can you at least try for me? Like, I never knew my dad, and my mom told me he died when I was younger, but I would give anything to talk to him right now. <sighs> All right. I'll do it for you. Okay, thank you. I love you. 
Ну, да, дети. See you over there. Look, man, I heard your story, all right? It's funny, we right here today. Just wanted to say, if you ever needed an ear, I'm here. All right? Th thanks, Hat. I appreciate it. No it's been tough being in this world alone. It's still been trying to find my family, but no luck yet. It's messed up, man. I wouldn't want to wish that on nobody, you know? Not to know their family. Yeah. Well, you know, if you feel like I can help you in any way, let me know. I'm one of the good ones, all right? Okay. Is there any way you can help me locate my brother? I, I believe the foster care told me his name was Chris, Chris Adams. Is there any way you can help you out with that? You got a brother, huh? Um, Got a friend, you know, who's good at looking up stuff for me like that. See what I can find out for you. Can't promise nothing, but you know. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate it. No one's ever cared this much. Thank, thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Right. Oh, oh, sorry. sorry. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Just know this too. I'm a man of my word. All right. So if I say it, it's done. But anyway, can I ask you something? Sure. I want to ask you something. Yeah, sure. And I need you to look at me right in my eyes. Big man gave me a gift to read people's souls when I look into their eyes. Did you do what they said you did? Keep in mind I could tell when you lying to me. Really ain't do it, huh? Yeah, you innocent. Look, I'm sorry, all right? I'm gonna help you find your brother. Thank you. I'll help you out. Thanks. Give me this phone call again. Hey, Joe, this is Tina. Look, I may have been a little hard on you earlier, and I want to apologize about that. Look, I know you're sorry, and I know you're trying your best to be a better man, but I just feel like I'm going to need time to get around it, okay? Look, I love you. I, I do. You're my brother, but I just need some time. Okay, um, I'll talk to you later. Joe, have a seat, bro. Come on, brother, have a seat. We need to talk. You gotta clear your head, bro. What's going on? I just needed somebody to talk to. Oh, 
too close to the edge. I went to talk to my sister. She wanted nothing to do with me, man. Look, it's gonna take some time. Your sister has her own problems. You just focus on becoming strong as a man for her. How much time does she need? I was locked up for 10 years. Yo, uh, <laughs> you know, she, she, she just doing what we did when we were kids. Just pushing me away. I'm sorry to hear that, bro. You need a break from everything. For who? Man. man, my heart hurts, man. And I know she needs me because I'm a big brother, you know? I'm all that she's got, man. It will work, bro. Trust me. It will work. <laughs> I just needed to love me before it's too late. It's gonna be all right, brother. It's gonna be all right. I knew this day would come. Oh, hold on, man. You don't want to do this. You don't know what I want to do. I know you don't want to hurt anyone, okay? Just put the gun down. I want to hurt you. My son had a good life ahead of him, man. And you killed him in cold blood. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, man. It was a reflex and an accident. I didn't mean to hurt him, okay? Look, I did my time, all right? I know you still have a lot of pain, man, but killing me's not gonna bring your son back. It might not bring him back, but it's gonna bring pleasure in my heart, man. It's been years, man, since I've been able to hold my son and tell him I love him. And it's been because of you, man. Please, man, I'm begging you. I'm really, really sorry, okay? You don't want to do this. I beg you, please don't shoot. Well, as long as I let you live, you can think about this. It's coming for you. Watch your back. Sir, sir, you have any spare change so I can get something to eat? Just spent my last one. Hey man, look here, you hungry? Starving, man. Yeah, I figured that. Man. Look, I'm gonna go ahead and do a good deed today, man. I got a little food here. You can share, talk a little bit. Thank Hope you, you up to it. As a matter of fact, you have a seat, man. No, 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 man. Go ahead, sit down, man. Sit down. Here you go. You good? Bless you, man. You're blessing, man. No problem, man. No problem. So how long you been homeless, man? Man, I've been homeless for three years, man. I was the lead foreman at my job, the plant I worked at. Been homeless three years? Three years, you know, I've been going from job to job, 
from store to store, warehouse to warehouse, and nobody's hiring. Yeah. I mean, why you out here? I mean, what's, what happened? Can't wear what that. Just shut down. Just shut down without, without a business. business. Yeah. yeah. You ain't been to find nothing in three years. Man, I've been from store to store, warehouse to warehouse, business to business, and I get the same thing that they're not hiring. Yeah, I heard that before, not hiring. Especially an ex-con, I just did 15 years. Just got out a couple months back. So I definitely heard the not hiring thing, you know? So I can kind of relate what you want to. I ain't been homeless, but I wasn't homeless, you know, but felt homeless mentally. Yeah, I worked at that play for 15 years. It's like one of the construction, construction things, formers you was doing? Yeah, the bottom of the Bottom. <laughs> By the way, I'm a Paul Hill. Adams, man. Adams. Chris Adams. What can I do to change my son's heart? All I ever wanted was to be his dad. But he hates me. That's all I could think about after I got arrested. That I wasn't there for him. Now I'm paying for my crime twice. I, Samuel Turner, did 15 years for killing my wife's lover. And I'm still paying. I'm still paying. God, please give me peace. That's all I ask for. I don't understand what life has in store for me, but all I ask for is just peace, please. It's so hard for me to stay focused without you. But all I can do is stay positive and pray in Jesus' name, amen.
Don't say anything, please. I've been trying to get my words together. I had to talk with my wife, and she thinks I need to see your side no matter how I'm feeling. So I decided to start from scratch. But if you make this about you, I'm done. Thank you, son, for giving me a second chance. I appreciate it. That's all I ever wanted. And I'm sorry for expressing my anger towards your mom. I'll never let that happen again. I just want the truth for the both of us. No more tiptoeing around our issues. Be upfront with one another. Understood. Look, we're gonna have to have dinner soon. Talk things out. I'd love to meet your wife. I'll give you a call and let you know when it's good to come over. Thanks. I just got off, got here as quick as I could. Tell me what's going on, Jack. I'm losing it, man, that's what's going on. The father of that kid I shot, he, he stuck a gun in my face the other wait, day. Wait, 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 calm down. How'd this go down? <sighs> Jimmy, I was cleaning out the trunk of my car, right down under the bridge, yeah. you know? And he walked up behind me, man, yelling about how he's been waiting for this day. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know, I guess he's been waiting for a chance to confront me or something. I gotta call this in, that's a direct threat on your life. <sighs> I'm not sure what to do, man. I know he's hurting inside. Yeah, but you don't come up with a gun. Jimmy, I know, but I don't need any kind of trouble that might land me back in jail. I understand. I'll keep it quiet. I'll reach out to him and I'll, I'll say something. Thanks, man. That would be better for me. I appreciate it. I'll take care of it. Thanks, brother. All right, Jack. Take care. All right, man. You stay safe, okay? Should have killed him. I don't know. I let my feelings get in the way. He took you away from me, son. And every single day, I'm, I'm trying to find a way to get over the pain, but it's, but it's hard. Give anything just to hear your voice again. Just, just to take you to the park and hear you say, Dad. It's nothing but nets, man. It's nothing but nets. Because I know how much you love playing basketball. I would love to see that right now. I would give anything for it. You just don't know the pain I'm going through. God, please help me. I can't stop crying, son. Get on my knees every night. I beg of God. I say, God, what did I do to deserve this? What can I do? What can I do to make it right? Because I'll give anything to have my son back. I'll give anything. I just wanted to ask you real quick that if and when we find your brother, that you have an open heart, all right? Because look, it's been a long time and I wouldn't want to see you get your expectations up or your hopes up if things don't go well, all right? Yeah, I know. But so far what I know, it seems like he's doing pretty well. He got adopted by a great family and it seems like he has the best of everything right now. So that's all I know for, for the meantime. <sighs> look, man, like I said, have an open mind, all right? Because look, as we both know, life is already hard enough without people putting expectations on us, all right? Yeah, gotcha. Just have an open mind. Okay. Thanks.
Good morning, fellas. How is everyone doing? First of all, I want to thank y'all all for being on time, getting here this morning for the session. Jack, welcome back. Hey, thank you. I'm really sorry I missed last session. I had an emergency come up that I had to take care of. Don't worry about it. Look, I understand. Everybody need a break here or there. Man, I said I had an emergency, all right? I didn't need a break from anything. Damn. Okay, I apologize for assuming otherwise. I just want to know what y'all guys been up to. I'm trying to fix things with my little girl. My son, he's still deployed. Just hope he gets back safe. I'm just trying to get back in my sister's life. We talk and she told me her feelings. I'm just gonna to have to give her time. Even if it hurts. That's good, guys. Remember, keeping an open mind is the key. And you, Mr. Hill, how you how, how have everything been going with you? Still trying to find my daughter. Good luck. In the meantime, I just been um hoping out a good friend for some of his problems, you know. Yeah, well, me and my son, we're in a good place. We're going to be having dinner soon. I'll get to meet his family. So for right now, we're doing all right. Sounds great. And you, Mr. Edwards? Oh, uh, I'm okay. Just still trying to find my family and get some closer for my life. But meanwhile, a friend been helping me track them down. And I'm thankful for that. I'm glad that all of y'all doing well and keeping up the communication with your family. Mr. Jones, have you ever given up on God? I just been um, thinking how things would be if I wasn't around anymore. You should never think those thoughts each and every one of you guys. Let me tell you something. Life is a blessing. And I don't care who ever tell you that your life doesn't matter. There's a goddamn lie. Yes, we all matter. I matter. I matter. You matter too, Joseph. My friend. Thank you, guys. I needed that. Everyone stand. Mr. Hill, would you mind blessing the group? Yeah, that's cool. All right, fellas. As we know, God is a part of all of us. We all created by him, by him. We all know the story. He died, he rose, just to show us how much he loved all of us. So no matter what we've been through, what we're going through, at the end of the day, we should all be grateful for what we have in our lives. Amen. 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 Thank you, Mr. Hill, for that touching prayer. Well, guys, that's the end of the group. Next week, same time, same place. Y'all have a good day. Hello, Dad. I was calling just to talk. I know, I was hard on you when you showed up at my house. 
I, I was kind of caught off guard. I had no idea, no idea you were out of prison. So, if I snapped at you, I'm sorry. You, you just don't understand the way I feel about your drinking in the past and the way things were with us. I really want this to work out. So can you give me a call? No matter what time? Good afternoon. Um, are you Mr. Jones? Yes, I am. Um, something wrong? Everything's okay? I'm Tina Clark. Joseph's sister? Yeah. Oh, how you doing? Everything okay? It's my brother, and I'm not sure how I can say this. Um, give me one minute. Let me grab my jacket, and um, we can go outside and talk. Yes. Sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, tell me, what's on your mind? Well, my brother and I have been having a lot of family problems, mm -hmm. and I try to call him, and he hasn't called me back, and I'm getting a little nervous. Oh, okay. Um, well, he did come to the group session this morning. Um, he's under a lot of stress, and I can understand that. I just don't want him to do anything and hurt himself, you know? I love my brother no matter what our issues are. I won't see anything happen to him. Well, to make you feel at ease, what I can do is, I can set up a meeting with just us three, mm -hmm. and hopefully we can get, you know, sort of the, get the problems out of it. You know, that actually sounds great. Here, just just take my number and give me a call when you're ready. Okay. And I'll be there. All right. Okay. okay. Can you tell my brother that I said hello for me, please? Yes, I definitely will. Okay, Miss Clark. Um. See you soon then. All right, thank you. All right, stay in touch. All right, I will. I'm struggling with my mind. and that my heart can figure it out. I'm just trying to be the best me that I can be. No regrets, no judgment, no hidden fears, but I know to get there, I'm gonna need to be at peace. Because I deserve to be loved just like everybody else. I'm Joseph Clark, and I did 15 years in prison for killing my sister's boyfriend. And the thing that really hurts is I do it again. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Figured you'll be out here. Hey, yeah, I'm doubt. How'd you know I was gonna be here? Seen you a few weeks ago when I was here. I come here to clip my hair too. I used to come out here a lot when I was a child. I just, yeah. yeah, just sit here. I consider it like my safe place. 
I sit here and I think, I just basically just get all the negative thoughts out of my head being here. Yeah, thinking is good. Yeah. It's real good. Actually, I've been doing some thinking and I really need to tell you something. It's been hard to say, but, um, cause I know what you've been through, but I wanted to, um, you know, still talk to you about it. What, what is it? Now you sure you can take anything I tell you I find about your brother? I mean, why wouldn't I? That's my brother. That's my family. All right. All right. Well, I think, I think I may have found him by accident. By accident? Yeah. I'm walking home the other day from the store, minding my business, running to this man. I shared a conversation with him. He told me his name. What's his name? Chris Adams. Yeah, but I don't know if it's really him. I gotta talk to him a little more, but I thought it could be. So let me just talk to him a little more and see if it's really him. That's great news, that's great news. That's... Yeah, I wanted you to know. I wanna know more about him. I mean, I mean, maybe if any way I can probably move in with him, get to know him better as brothers, hopefully. got to tell you something, man. What, what, what's wrong? Um, you know what? Nothing, man. Let me just talk to him a little more, make sure it's really him. You know? Okay. Mr. Hines, you have a minute? Who are you? I'm Detective Ross. I want to talk to you about Jack Carter. This conversation over. Look, we either talk about this now, or we put on handcuffs, we get out of town and talk about it there. The choice is yours. So you want to know why I put a gun in his face? Yeah, I do. My son, detective, that's why I put a gun in his face. My son is gone and he's walking around unpunished. That is why. Look, Jack did his sentence. I'm real sorry, but ain't nothing gonna bring your boy back. So you stay away, got it? My son didn't have a choice, detective. He didn't have a choice whether he lived or died. And every day I keep reliving this. Every morning I wake up and I go downstairs and I pray that my son is still there. But he's gone, detective. I can't change that. That's the life I'm living. It's just reality for me. That's the reality we all live in. Jack lives it every day. It's a sad thing, Detective. Ain't nothing bringing my son back. So when you want to come and tell me all about your partner and about how he feels, Tell it to my son. Hey, Pop. Hello, son. Come in. It's nice to finally meet you, Mr. Turner. Oh, the pleasure's all mine. Sorry I missed the grandkids. That's okay. It's better this way. Baby steps. I don't want them getting attached not knowing how this is going to work out. Honey, can you stop being so mean? He's your dad. He's not no stranger. He is a stranger. 15 years? That's a lot of time that we can't get back even if we try. I'm sorry, son. I know you're having trouble with this. Just give me a chance to prove myself. I'm sorry, Mr. Turner, for starting all of this. You didn't start anything. He did. Being selfish. That's right, Dad. Tell her how you killed the man and you left us all alone. 
You're a coward. Why am I here, son? If you're not willing to try, I'm a better man, and I have a lot of love left in me to give. Please let me. Can you two just try? For the kids, your grandkids. How can I prove to you, to your family, that I'll never leave, son? No, I'm trying to open my heart, but I'm hurting. Just please, leave, Pop. Go! How can I love you when you won't love me back? Hey, how you doing, sir? You happy? Yes, sir. My name's uh, Paul Hill. I've been looking for uh, Chris Adams. Does he live here? Um, I'm Will Adams. I'm his uncle. Oh, okay. Do you know how I can get in contact with him, maybe? Um, well, I hate to inform you, but um, he passed away last night. Uh, uh, complications due to cancer. I don't know if you knew this, but um, yeah, he was stage no, four. No, I didn't. Wow, sorry for your loss. Thank you. Hmm. Well, I basically was just trying to let him know that I was in a you know, group program with his brother. Edward? Edward, yes, sir. So he's been trying to find you guys. We're trying to find his family, so. Man, please do me a favor. Um, Give him my information. Tell him to call me whenever he's ready wow. to come on by. You know, wow. I would like to see him. That's gonna be good news for him, man. I sure will. Thank you so much for giving me some of your time. No problem. Sorry to knock again so late, all right? No problem. Thank right. you. Thank have you. a good one. You as well. Right. Be safe. Hello, ma'am. I'm Detective Sterling. Are you Laura Nelson? Yes. What's this about? You have a few minutes to go inside and talk. I have some bad news to tell you about your father, Lawrence Nelson. I don't care if he's back in jail. He deserves it, and I'm not gonna feel sorry for him. No, it's nothing like that. Uh, is it okay if we go inside and talk? No. Well, what is it? Well, sorry to tell you, but your father was in a car crash and he was killed. Wait, 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 wait. My, my father's dead? Well, what happened? Well, it's still under investigation, but he may have purposely driven his car into a building. No one else was hurt. He was alone in the car. And um, is there someone I can contact to come be here with you? I can't believe this. I'm, I'm sorry, forgive me, but I, I, can't, I, I can't deal with this of right course, now. Of course, of course. my card if you need to contact me and I will follow up tomorrow. Okay. I'm sorry about what happened. <laughs> Hello, Joseph. Tina. I'm so glad to be here. So we can get an understanding of where you all stand. I just want to thank you for doing this. No problem. Now, Joseph, are you okay with this? Yeah. Great. I want you both to know that life is short. And it's even harder without each other. It's harder to function. What you need to understand is family. I just want to say that I'm sorry for putting my emotions in the way. And I never wanted to hurt you like that. I was so wrong. 
and in my heart. All I was trying to do was protect you. You know, and I still have this pain inside. That I'm hoping I can change your help, Mr. Jones. It's light at the end of every dark tunnel. And you just have to build up your strength. And it starts here, in the heart. I love you, Tina. And I, I want you to be happy. And I understand that you're a woman now. And you deserve love. I just want to be your brother again. If that's possible. You know, I thank you for understanding. You will always be my brother. <laughs> That was beautiful. Love is life. And life is love. Let us pray. Will you lead us off? Sure. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I just want to thank you for this time of reconciliation, Lord. I know you know I love my brother and I know he loves me. Lord, I just want our family to continue to exude the love you have placed in our hearts, Lord God. I just thank you, Lord. Always keeping you first, Lord God. There's nothing we cannot do. There's nothing we cannot overcome. Lord, we bless you today. We honor you today, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. What's going on, man? Hey, Paul. Hey, look, man, I appreciate you coming out here today, man. You know, I called y'all here and everything. But anyway, look, the guy I seen the other day is your brother. You got a brother. His name is Chris Adams. Good. That's that's great. Um, so that means I can go see him, right? Well, about that. Look, man, this is hard for me to say to you, man, but What's wrong? you just lost your brother, man. Your brother died a few days ago. You just missed him. He died from cancer. Man, it's taking everybody out, man. And as far as what they say, he had stage four. Come on, man. Pick your jacket up. Hold yourself together, man. Look here, look. Look at the bright side, man. The bright side is this. Like my mother always told me, it's always a bright side to every situation, but you just got to find it. In this situation, you knew of him, but you didn't know him. You don't miss what you never had, man. That's the only family I had, though. Really. You didn't have him, man. Come on, man. Look. Look. I got good news for you, too. I got good news for you. The good news is this. You got an uncle out there. His name is William Adams. I told him I was a situation. He knows everything. He's dying to meet you. Actually, he said he loved to meet you. Those were his exact words. He knows everything. He's looking forward to it. I even got his address for you. You got something to write with? I don't think I do. I had it through my phone. It's real simple. 1919 Parkwood Street. It's walkable distance. It's seven minutes away. I was just over there. It is seven minutes. Mark you can walk. Parkwood. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look, you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm just. I got an uncle out there. I'm just confused. What, 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 I, what I do from there? Don't be confused. Confused about what? That's your family, man. Again, you already know it's about you. I warmed them up for you. All right, that way he knows what to expect. No big surprises and everything. You guys, you guys just pretty much get to know each other. All right? Okay, good. And remember this, man. Mm -hmm. When you get over there, just remember that's your family. Be yourself. Don't be confused about nothing. Do you? 
Be yourself. That's the best way you can be right now. You guys don't know each other. Get to know each other. That's your uncle. Right. I'm I did what I said I was going to do, right? Yes, you, you did. Thank you. I'm going to go home and get ready now and go meet him. Thank, thank you again, you Paul. Thank you. thank you. Take it easy, all right? You hey, too. we done, man. What we got this thing? Go find him, man. Go get to go see him. Hey, Jimmy. It's me, man. Jack. Look, um, I'm calling because, uh, because I can't keep going like this, man. I made that one horrible mistake, man, and everything's gone to hell since my whole life is ruined. I've been trying to make a comeback and nobody's given me a chance and nobody's ever going to forgive me for what happened. And I just can't keep going on like this. So I just called to say goodbye to my best friend, man. I'm sorry. And I love you, dude. I'm your mother's brother. Nice to finally meet you. Welcome home, man. Come on, in. come on, come on, come on in. Let's talk. Hello, how may I help you? Georgia. Georgia, is that you? Daddy? Oh my God, I thought you were dead. It's me. Oh. It's me, baby. Look right here. I can't believe I found you. Man, I've been waiting for this. 